Welcome to Boise Paramotors. Today, we're excited to uh, give you an overview of EOS Quattro, four-stroke motor, 280 cc's. It's a bell-driven. This unit here has an electric start. We have a 140 centimeter propeller on awesome power to fly Cronus XL. Uh, we even have a crossbar here, which is not necessary, but since this is a display unit, we just wanted to show the customers what we can do and uh, how it can be outfitted if you desire to fly the trike. Um, Cronus is really strong, so it doesn't really need that crossbar, but if somebody wants it, we can put it on. Um, bell driven, 16 uh, ribs belt. It has electric starter, um, air filter, uh, CVK, CVK uh, a carburetor with a choke right there. And so uh, it has a really, really uh, good and light muffler. This is specifically made for the Quattro. The oil that Quattro uses is uh, it's um, 10W60, and it uses around 500 milliliters. Uh, we have a breather here, just like on every four-stroke. This is a um, single overhead cam motor. And then we, uh, of course, have exhaust with a muffler. I just want to show you the quality of this motor. This is the um, second version of the motor. Two, three years ago, actually, I reviewed uh, the first version of the motor. And it was good, but it wasn't, as, it wasn't as powerful as this one. I started this one. We measured it on the test bench and... Um, it came out at 84 kilos of thrust with 130 centimeter EPROPS propeller. If you'd like to see that video, you can see it on our website www.eos-motors.com. And it's right there on the main page. I also put this motor on my back and ran it and man, it was powerful. So yeah, it is a little heavier than a Monster for sure. This one is dual start, so it's, so it's even heavier than just a pull start version. But you can see, look at look at these rubber mounts. Look at the mounts that they made on the exhaust here. Uh, the air filter, CVK heart carburetor, as we talked about it. I mean, everything is top notch made on this motor. So today we're gonna go fly it. Uh, I have around four liters of fuel right there, and you can see that it's a white fuel, it's not mixed. We just use the regular uh, 91, 92 octane, whatever you have, um, non ethanol fuel. And uh, I'm gonna test how much fuel it's gonna use in half an hour of flight, and then I will also fly without the ear protection because this motor is really quiet. But all of that is coming after our beautiful intro. All right, so right before our flight, I filled a little bit more and now we have just over five liters. So let's go fly for 30 minutes and see where we're gonna be. In this video, you will see me flying Quattro and three points that I wanted to cover is power, noise and fuel consumption. During flying Quattro, um, I had lots of power. We have a test bench uh, video out there where Quattro is putting 84 kilos of thrust. And I would say that that's very accurate and can be fe felt um, during the flying as well. So uh, very powerful motor. Noise was very minimal. I've heard most of the noise from the propeller, not so much coming from the engine. Uh, you can see in the video that I'm not wearing ear protection. I'm wearing a helmet, but my earmuffs are put on the top of my helmet. Fuel consumption was awesome and just watch the video till the end to see what the fuel consumption was. Okay, so 
I just landed. I had a 0.2 hours in this motor because I started it and made sure before my first flight that it was running good, whatnot, right? And I'm right now, you can probably see at 0.7. So when we take, took off, we had a little bit over, oh shoot, uh, just maybe a hair over um, five liters. So let's see what we have now. I'm just gonna, and that will tell us, you know, what we burn per hour and so forth on the Quattro. So let me just, uh, and I was flying, you're gonna probably ask me, hey, how much do you weigh? What wing were you flying? So here's the answer to all those questions. So I was flying my son's 24 meter, and this is why. So uh, I weigh 215 pounds, and I actually fly a 20 meter glider, but somebody of my um, weight that was a beginner, he'd probably fly 27 or 29 meter glider, right? And I thought to myself, well, if I'm flying 20 meter glider and the beginner flies uh, 27 meter gliders or 29 meter glider, that means 24 would be right in the middle. So this kind of pans the average. I gotta put my toolbox down. But this kind of gives you the average uh, square meter. This gives you the average of the, you know, of the size of the glider. And so that just tells you, hey, um, this is an average. Let's see how much we burn. And we go from there. Okay. So the moment of truth. Oh, my gauge is on the other side. Okay, so for half an hour, I burned about maybe a little bit more than one liter. I'm gonna wait till that kinda settles down. Did I lose my phone? That's gonna suck it. Okay, so right there. So I burned that much. So I burned 1.1 liter for 30 minutes. There you get, have it.